And yeah, so now we're back again. So now we're going to do some final assembly, so as it were. Uh, we're going to to uh, install the, the case for the Hi-Fi Berry on the back side of uh, one of the speakers. I haven't quite decided yet which channel this is going to be. So you have to excuse my my choice of screwdriver. I couldn't find a posi drive one in any other size. So I'm just attaching basically the the Hi-Fi Berry case to the back of the, the one of the speakers. I'm trying to get it moderately straight or I have to be, everybody will laugh at me at on the interwebs and that we can't have that now, can we? Well, that's exactly what is moderately straight. So and I'm using ah, but uh -huh, I'm using a, an angle that you can't really tell if it's straight or not. So uh, forget everything I said. It's perfectly level and square and everything nice. So, but yeah, so we're just going to attach this on the back. And no need to go full 300 pound gorilla on this. Nothing here. It's just so it's, how should we say, solidly attached. So, like that, I'll go get the Raspberry Pi and I will start wiring things up. So, I now have the whole shebang mounted and uh, now we need to decide which speaker this is going to be and according to uh, the old amp board seems to be marked right down here but these just say plus and minus these new amp2 boards and I can't find a manual for them. so I'm going to presume it's the same it really doesn't matter I can always flip them around later but uh, so yeah we are going to uh, Cut this ancient cable. Uh, well, let's leave ourselves a bit of room in case something does go south. I could always, you know, open it up. And I'm pretty sure somebody is going to correct me on this, but my understanding is that polarity of speakers does not matter as long as all your speakers in the sound systems are is uh, wired the same way. What kind of gauge is this? Hey! One and a half square, apparently. Now, oh, let's see. Ah, shoot. Don't have a suitable screw out of a handy. How unprofessional of me. So we're going to connect these to, what did we say, left channel. And I'm going to call black positive. Be mindful that the leftmost input is the, is for the auxiliary power, if you're not using the DC, 5 millimeter DC jack, so don't connect your speakers there. So the marked wire is going to be our positive. So now we have one speaker connected. I'm going to go get the other one and then connect that. I'm going to power everything up and see if it works. Wonderful. Let's see how it behaves, if we can get it working anymore. Hmm. 
So, so now we're more or less done. As you can see, we have our nice speaker. And on the back, we have the Hi-Fi Berry all mounted. And I also cabled the second speaker here that goes to the right side speaker. Uh, I had some problems. I did a small, I messed up when I configured. Uh, the Hi-Fi Berry Amp 2 is so new that you need to actually, uh, there isn't a setting for it. And in, when you remember I started, I, I didn't enable the I2S uh, feature. And that was a mistake. You should enable that and then you should, should select the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus, which uh, somehow is similar to the Amp 2. I don't really know. But when I reflashed the card, redid the initial setup, I got everything working. Maybe didn't need to reflash the card, but I did anyway. So, uh, let's try it out. I have probably some song here. Let's see if we can get this to actually play. And as you might hear, we have quite nice sound. And the volume control... Yeah, well, let's give you guys a picture in picture, so to say. Yeah, so here you can see the nice interface. Here you can see the interface, it's really nice. And now I also have the volume controls working. It's a bit, you know, iffy, but it works. I haven't still got the, the, uh, so I can play from Spotify here, but we'll look into that in a later date. But yeah, that's how you make your own DIY Wi-Fi uh, speaker system thingy for your workshop. So, I'm going to place this now in the some nicer location and see how it functions. Yeah. But I'm really pleased now. And also, uh, you can power these from laptop supply. So I'm just using a 12, 20 volt 2 amp laptop supply that supplies power to the Hi-Fi Berry and that then powers the Raspberry Pi. So, and it's just a five millimeter barrel jack there. So that's quite nifty, you can repurpose stuff like that. So, I hope you enjoyed my short and somewhat messy tutorial and uh, hope to see you guys again sometime. Well, uh, have a nice day and thank you for watching. <laughs>